Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets are running it back. In a statement released Tuesday, Nets general manager Sean Marks said the past MVP and two-time NBA champion will remain with the franchise after originally requesting a trade on June 30. Durant's four-year, $198 million extension kicks in this season, coach, Steve Nash and I, together with, governors, Joe Tsai and Clara Wu Tsai, met with Kevin Durant and Rich Kleiman in Los Angeles yesterday, Marx said. We have agreed to move forward with our partnership. We are focusing on basketball, with one collective goal in mind, build a lasting franchise to bring a championship to Brooklyn. Where does the news leave Durant, Kyrie Irving, Brooklyn and the Eastern Conference? Are the Nets the new favorites over East juggernauts such as the Boston Celtics and Milwaukee Bucks? And what lies ahead for Katie, Kyrie and Brooklyn beyond the 2022-23 season? Our NBA insiders are breaking down every angle of yet another twist in the Durant Nets summer saga. Tim Bondom, this is a recognition of the reality of the situation. Durant is under contract for four more years. No one is coming close to giving Brooklyn what it wants. The two choices Durant had were to either play or try to hold out. This is the only logical option for both sides. Jamal Collier, well, that was a fun waste of time. Even though this outcome has felt inevitable for a while, I'm still skeptical about the longevity of this partnership. Everyone may be on the same page for now, but I don't think we're heading toward a redemption story like Kobe Bryant and the Lakers in 2007. Nick Friedel the drama never stops with the Nets, they put Durant's boardroom logo on the news release. The big question I have after seeing the statement is, how long will this last? That was a miserable team to be around at times last season, and now they'll be able to rebuild their culture as training camp nears? That would be a stretch.